This is I'm trying to pull the uh, fixing the horn, so I've got to pull off the steering steering wheel and, and get in there to see what's going on. Um, I've tested all the wires, the fuse, everything. Signs point to uh, the actual assembly within the steering wheel. So um, this is a. <clears throat> Malibu Max 2007 and it is not the normal steering wheel assembly so I thought I would show you guys what's going on back here let me see if I can get the light up in here sorry for the shaking camera let's see here okay Let's see if we can back there. Okay, you see back in the uh, the hole in the lower right corner, right in here. There's a little little line like that. All right, there's four of these, two here and two on the other side. This is a sort of a switch. Not a switch, but you know, a little. Trigger, if I go in there and just pull it. Ah. To the side, this is, ah. Not the easiest video to make. Pull it to the side, you can see. Yeah, that it is now moved, I can't even see it now, but it is now set further this way. Oh my gosh, no it's not. It's supposed to be. Oh no, yes it is. Yep, it's all the way over. Okay, so you have to do that to all four sides. It's a bit tricky. Um, so you have to just be really careful and make sure you hold it as you're going around because they'll slip right back into place and lock the steering wheel back up so you can't get it off. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unlock all four and hold this as I do it and then we will be right back and I'll show you what's going on in underneath. Okay, quick note. I forgot. There's a little hex nut right down in there. Size 30. Um, so, just letting you know uh, you can unpin all these these all you want it's not going to come out unless you take out the uh, not on or the bolts from each side the screws from each side okay so first of all <laughs> I lied the little the little bars you don't pull out from the center you push in towards the center and they, they bend in okay so hex nuts out uh, Locking, uh, locking bars or whatever you want to call them out. And you want to make sure that you, as you pull it out, as you unlock each of the four locking mechanisms, you keep, you keep force pulled outwards uh, on this uh, center area or it's going to end up locking back up. So you've got to keep it pulled out as you undo each one and finally the whole center thing will come out. So, um, as usual, always be careful <laughs> when you're dealing with uh, airbags. They do have a tendency to kind of go off when you don't want them to if you don't know what you're doing. And they can be extremely dangerous. Okay. Okay, so in order to safely remove your airbag, um, this yellow clip has this inner clip, so you release that by pulling out like that. And then that releases uh, your main clip, which you just see that. So you pull that out, and then this part you just pull out like. 
like so. Okay, now you're good. And you're not gonna accidentally smash your face with a uh, airbag. And pull this clip off. Okay, now it's loose and we can figure out what's going on with the horn. <clears throat> Alright, so I have now lied twice to you. <laughs> the hex screws, these guys, didn't actually hold on or help hold this in. It was simply just the two, the the uh, release bars. Now, how this works is <clears throat> here are the release bars. See how they ah, bend one way, right? Okay, these mount just inside here underneath this, back in there, like that. And the screws hold those in place. And there's threading right here, which holds this backing to the release bars uh, to the center column. So yeah, these actually have nothing to do with anything and by and by pulling them out, I probably made it a little bit more difficult. So yeah, sorry about that. Okay, now how the horn works is uh, when this is depressed, these springs, Okay, these four springs, the horn works by pushing this whole thing in and out. Um, and these contacts right here, this one, this one, this one, and this one, hit these four stubs and complete the circuit, which follows through from this connection. Okay, so this Next to here, which energizes these, or energizes this plate, and when it comes in contact with these, it feeds through, back, through that wire, and the horn goes off. So we're going to have to figure out why this isn't working. So I've got this here, let's go down to, whoops, wrong way, we're going to do that guy, and we're going to test these wires. First, let's test this guy, each one of these. Nothing. Anything here? Anything here? Huh. I'm not getting anything at all. Here, let's put the key in. in. Everything should be energized. Let's try that again. Yeah, totally nothing. Okay, let's check this guy. one-handed diagnostics. Okay, come here, buddy. Woo! Ah! Oh. Okay, hold on one second. Nothing. Oh, 11.9. Uh, I'm not getting... Oh, what the F, dude? This is weird. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing from either. Okay. Well, 
So what we do know is if we power through the fuse, the horn will honk. <laughs> so there's something going on between here and the fuse. I'm going to check the connection up here and back here to make sure the wiring is getting power. Um, if it's not, we probably got, I mean, considering I'm not getting power from either one or getting any signal from either one, <sighs> frustrating. Okay, let's figure this out. What I believe is going on from um, the diagnostic so far is that the, uh, I forget what it's called, the, the transfer ring, anyway, whatever, the thing that's back here is broken or just not working correctly. So I'm gonna pull the steering wheel off. Let's see. So now the center bolt off. We're going to. Oh crap, we're gonna have to use that the tool. Okay. If I can't pull that off. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get the steering wheel removal tool. One second. Okay, so now I've got the steering puller fixed. Um, this was a bit of a strange steering wheel. The holes for for these bolts <laughs> didn't have any thread, so um, I had to find the biggest bolt that would kind of just work its way in there and just kind of do my own threading. So we'll see how well this works. It may not, but I really hope it does. Yeah. No. Let's see. See, it's just pulling right back out. God damn it. Oh, maybe. Nope. Nope. We're going to have to figure something else out. That sucks. That sucks. Engineers, huh? Did I could design a better car in my sleep. All right, so I kind of had a Jimmy rig a uh, new tool to get the steering wheel off. Um, <laughs> this usually isn't used for pulling steering wheels, I don't think, but here we go. So it's got the two hooks, because I don't have any threads in either of those holes. So I'm gonna use the hooks. Down in there, and then I'm going to tighten this. So, one second. All right, let's hope this pulls. Oy. And it didn't. God damn it. Huh. All right, let's figure something else out.